dill pickle crackers. And I love dill pickle anything, like dill pickle potato chips, uh, fried dill pickles. I am a dill pickle kind of gal. So if you like crackers um, and, and pickles, you are gonna absolutely love this recipe. And as mentioned, this is one of those recipes that pretty sure you got everything in your kitchen to make this right now. I know I do in my home, and we had um, all the stuff here in uh, the, uh, in our, our uh, studio to make it too, in our pantry. So let's get cooking. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt a stick of butter. And you can do it in the microwave. I'm just gonna do it um, in a pan on the stove. It's up to you how you wanna melt your butter. This recipe is really easy to double. So if you wanted to make a bunch of these, they'll keep in an airtight container, I'd say for a good week or so. I've done a recipe kind of like this, but different um, with oyster crackers uh, or pretzels where you just take ordinary El Cheapo oyster crackers or pretzels and you kind of take them to a whole new level. This is the same idea, but we're just gonna use saltines. And I feel like I always have a sleeve or two of saltines in my kitchen, I bet you do too, for you know, when you're having soup. So this recipe, we're gonna use about two sleeves of saltines, whatever you have, whatever's on sale, doesn't matter whether it's the brand or the generic. Just try and, you know, make sure they're, um, we're gonna toss this with this yummy buttery dill pickle sauce, I guess, and then bake them. But we want to try and not break up the crackers. Wow, I'm pretty proud of myself. These sleeves open pretty easily. Sometimes I, I fight with these. So I've got a big bowl, the biggest bowl you have in your kitchen. If you have one of those big stainless bowls, you know, those giant ones. I love those. Um, I'm a big fan of big bowls. So that would be great especially if you're doing a really big batch. If not, just do it in two separate batches. You know, toss the crackers and, and then we're gonna bake these on big cookie sheets. So my butter is melting, or jelly roll pans. Again, big bowl, big sheet pan. So I am going to line my sheet pan. Now this is optional, you don't have to do that. But when you line your sheet pan, this is parchment paper. Love, love, love it, not expensive at all. It kind of, first of all, it protects your sheet pans um, and keeps you from having to scrub them, which this is gonna be a little bit of a buttery mess. Uh, but it also kind of protects whatever you're baking. So if you're baking cookies, it really kind of protects the bottom. So, you know, they're not so apt to get too brown on the bottom. Same for these crackers. Um, foil would also work. So foil or parchment paper, or you really don't have to, um, but Again, I'm not a big fan of cleanup, so I do. All right, so my butter's melted. I'm going to turn off the heat, and I'm going to add some really great seasonings uh, to give these crackers tons of flavor. So we love our spices from Bulk Price Food. I'm going to use a teaspoon of garlic powder or garlic salt, either one, if you want them a little more salty, a whole tablespoon of dried dill. And you notice how green this dried dill is? That is because we get our spices in bulk from bulk price food and we go through them and then we get more. Um, if you've got dill, dried dill in your pantry and it's been there in that you know spice container for like five years or more, you'll notice it's kind of brown, it's not bright green and not that it's you know bad or gone bad, but it just lacks that flavor. So you really want your spices like your paprika, you want it to be bright red, not brown. And same for your dried parsley, your dried dill, um, and on and on like that. So dried dill, a good heaping tablespoon of that. Now this is dried ranch dressing mix that also we get in bulk from bulk price food. It's really nice to have on hand. So you can whip up you know, ranch dressing with, uh, you know, follow the directions on this, or you can use it in different recipes. And you can just use a packet of dried ranch dressing that you get at the grocery store. But as mentioned, we love the stuff from bulk price. One ounce, which is two tablespoons. And that's gonna give the crackers so much flavor. And the last thing we're gonna add is some dill pickle juice. And I've always got a jar of dill pickles in my fridge. Bet you do too. So I'm just gonna add a, a tablespoon of that. You don't wanna add too much liquid because we want these crackers to be nice and crispy after we bake them. Okay, so just mix that all together. 
And then we're gonna pour all this buttery goodness. Again, this was dry ranch dressing mix, garlic powder, dill, dry dill and dill pickle juice and a stick of butter. Full recipe you can get on our website. Okay, so now this is kind of the, the trickiest part of this recipe, is you wanna coat these crackers, but you don't wanna, you wanna try and not break them up. I've also got my oven preheated. I do it about 250 to 300. Everybody's oven's different. You wanna do bake these low and slow for about 30 minutes. If you bake them too high, they'll brown too quickly. So you want that buttery sauce to really get into the crackers, give them some great flavor, and you want them to toast up the crackers and dry the crackers so they're crispy, but you don't want to overbrown them. Okay, that looks about good, and you can kind of spread it out a little bit more on the baking tray. Get every little last bit of this buttery mixture out of here. Oh, it smells so good. I just want to totally lick the bowl here. The smell of dill pickles just, I don't know, makes my mouth water, makes me happy. So then you kind of carefully spread these out best you can. I'm just using my nice clean hands. You don't want them all on top of each other. And again, if you're doubling this recipe, which is, you know, you use four sleeves of crackers, two sticks of butter, you get it. Definitely use two, don't bake them all on one. Definitely do two sheet pans. Okay, these look pretty good. Spread them out as best you can. You definitely wanna keep an eye on these. Set a timer, and oh, I see like some buttery mixture over here, so if you see some crackers that need a little bit more love, just go ahead and dip them in the buttery mixture. I don't wanna waste that. So two sleeves works perfectly here. I know like packaging is, things are shrinking, so in the, in the box of crackers I bought, the two sleeves look perfect, but you'll get it if you think you can add a little bit more. You definitely don't want to use a sweet cracker. I don't think, anyway. I don't think, like, the buttery sweet cracker would be as good, but maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I should try that. But I love this recipe because I'm just using the El Cheapo saltines. So in these go to the oven. Um, again, at a low heat, 250 to 300. And I check them about every five to 10 minutes. Definitely they don't take longer than 30 minutes. And um, you wanna make sure they're toasty. You wanna make sure they're crisp. They are, your house is gonna smell amazing. Let's just say that. Um, they are gonna be fantastic with any kind of soup. Uh, you know, tomato soup, chicken noodle soup, vegetable soup, warm out of the oven. I mean, my gosh, I could eat this whole tray. Um, but they're also gonna keep, and they're gonna be great to, you know, take in little baggies uh, for in the car when you need a snack. They're gonna be great with a dip, like a fantastic beer dip or like a, you know, cheddar cheese dip, something like that. Uh, great alone or with something, either way. And I think once you start making these, you'll make them more often. So I'm gonna show you what they look like when they come out. Oh, yeah. These are good. Just put them in a, a big bowl and they're nice and crisp. Yeah, can you hear that, see that? Mm, mm. It's like Chex Mix, whenever I make Chex Mix, speaking of snacks, it's like warm out of the oven, there's just something about it. And I know they sell like mixes for these crackers where you can take saltines and they've got like different mixes, but this was so inexpensive and so easy to do at home. And, you know, you've got butter, you've got pickles, you've probably got the rest of your this stuff to make this too. Mmm, a couple crackers on this sheet tray for me. So I think I'm gonna have some. So there you go, dill pickle crackers.